I am in the Power of Five Weather Center of meteorologist Katie McGraw, and uh, we're getting closer to the weekend, and you got some details on some <laughs> friends, some furry friends out there. Yes, our furry forecasters. Of course, you grew up in Northeast Ohio. You're familiar with them, made pretty famous by Dick Goddard, and this is one that my mom took a photo of. It's Your mom took this? Yeah, ah, yeah, so it was on good her job, mom. mom. I know, MJ. It's with in the... focus? Look at that. <laughs> she's doing pretty okay. good. Though, she's doing kind of a tan color. Now, this one was sent to us from Michael Davis. David. That one I love looking at. First off, it's another great shot and you can really get a good look at all of those colors. So both of these taken recently, both having different colors. And generally speaking, when we're talking about the colors of woolly bears, is that the more black on them, that's when you're going to have a more severe winter. So notice here that there's just the tips of the, of the woolly bear that have black and that middle section of brown is a bit larger. That is going to be a milder winter compared to when you have no brown at all that's when you have a severe winter most of this is just fun because even the ones that we've seen across northeast ohio there's not a lot of scientific basing to it there was some research done about it back in the 50s but for the most part the there's actually more suggestion that it means more about last winter their colors versus the winter to come